get up, man. Y'all niggas better go watch Montana 300 and 1 through 14 or something, man. It's 15. I've been ballin', could've skipped college. I'm a bad boy with that big popper. 12 gauge when I head shot him, bust his head open like a pin like A lot of things that you learn in the streets, you can really take it to anything when you're dealing with people. It's snakes everywhere, you know. In the Bible, you see, even heaven has snakes in it. So you gotta be aware that they're around. Never think that any place is just pure. You know what I'm saying? Um, your money, I, I, I've got on, and people say, oh, he hasn't changed. You know, since he got on, he hasn't changed one bit. He's still the same guy, you know, respects everybody, don't talk down on people. But you gotta understand that just because you, your money didn't change you, that doesn't mean your money didn't change people around you. They might look at you like a target now. You know what I'm saying? People who never thought about robbing you might be looking at, looking at you like, you know, your opportunity now, or I should rob them, or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta be aware that just because you don't change, doesn't mean people around you don't change, you know what I'm saying? Just be aware of everything. It's, it's made me be um, more selfless, you know, more mindful of um, the things that my actions could uh, lead to, and um, just knowing that I got somebody there depending on me, who I could be possibly letting down, you know, and just refusing to do that, and making sure when I move it's only beneficial and you know the risk is worth the reward you know what I'm saying if something ever happened to me outside of my house I want somebody to say well you know he was there to collect his bag not he was there moving around like a regular person or he was at the club or be around people that he's always around like, was he at the club performing no he was just at the club trying to see bitches you know what I'm saying that's, that's not going to be me you know what I'm saying um, other than that you know it's a you know, it's a great thing, especially, you know, the time I spend with my kids in the gym, you know what I'm saying, or, you know, just teaching them things or riding in the car, giving them, you know, food for thought, uh, heads up, things I wish people would have told me when I was younger or their age, you know what I'm saying, it's good to see them, you know, uh, take heed to it and, you know, um, just to really catch your kids at a point in time to where they look up to you and you're the hero, you know what I'm saying, some people miss that beat with their kids, like your son looked up to you at one point in time and you didn't take advantage of that, you know, and later on in life, he doesn't look up to you anymore, or his mom might have gotten his ear and told her how you really are, or how you don't help or anything like that, and he could resent you for that thing, those type of things, you know, and now you're not his hero anymore, you know what I'm saying, so just being able to have that power, and, um, you know, be able to execute it, and give them some words that I know mean something to them the whole way, it's, you know, it's a great thing. Well, I got a lot of advice for him in my uh, albums, you know, uh, just life stuff, you know, um, you know, life is full of freaking losses, man. So, you know, win as much as you can, uh, you know, always try to be the you know, best, best version of yourself, the strongest version of yourself. Um, you know, the work you put in, you know what I'm saying, determines, you know, the, uh, the outcome, your results, you know, so try to outwork the rest, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever try to take shortcuts in life. You know what I'm saying? Put in that work, you know what I'm saying? It'll pay off later on. You wanna do something today that your future self will thank you for later on. You know what I'm saying? Um, artists, the youth that's uh, you know, pursuing a rap career. Uh, don't um know the business, man. Learn the business. You know what I'm saying? Uh, protect yourself, protect your money, your bank account, you know, protect your name, your look, all that stuff. Um, as far as being lyrical and things like that, um, Read, 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 read as much as you can. Watch DVDs, you know, what, know what's going on, know what's relevant, know what's popular, you know what I'm saying? And uh, teach, you know, give people something every once in a while, something that they can walk away with and use in life. It, um, it uh, linger a lot longer, you know what I'm saying? Um, they'll be thankful for you a lot longer. You know, everybody comes up in a rap game and goes down at some point in time, you know what I'm saying? When you give something that somebody something that they can use for life, they uh, tend to always respect you, you know, no matter how old you get, you know what I'm saying, or uh, where your career goes, you know, you did something helpful for them in their life, other than just made them bob their head, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I know they're young right now, you know, they're 10 and 6, but it's a lot of things that I put in my music that's for you, you know, for my kids, and I, want, and I know they might not understand it now, but later on in life, you know what I'm saying, once they get older and learn more of life, and learn how people are, that it's a lot of, um, you know, messages and jewels, you know, and guidance and teachings, you know what I'm saying, warnings within my music, if you listen closely, especially to my more, um, my more conscious raps and things like that, you know what I'm saying? I would just, uh, I would be better um, as far as managing money, you know, things like that. Um, I feel like I already do a good job, I don't feel like I'm bad at it, but, um, um, 
other investments and things that I know now that I didn't know then, I would probably tell myself to get in that a little bit earlier. Um, um, I've always been uh, real self-motivated, you know what I'm saying, things like that. So I've always felt like, you know, my time is coming, my time is near. You know, I was always telling myself that. So, so that wouldn't change at all. But um, other than that, I would say that's it's not really much, you know, that I could really warn myself. Because five years ago, I didn't want a record deal. You know what I'm saying? Still, and I'm still standing on that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just being a student of life and a student of uh, the game. You know, learning from other people's mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I feel like I've always been good with that. So I think I could just have managed my money a, a, a lot better five years ago than what I know now. Man, I'm done holding back on you niggas, man. Straight up, man. Y'all niggas better go watch Montana 301 through 14 or something, man. It's 15.